This is Ryan from Francis and Gay. <laughs> so Shara, who works at Francis and Gay, sent me this. She's asked and watch life on Instagram. Give her a follow. But yeah, what a legend Ryan is. Not just a watch, ad, ad, <laughs> watch expert, but something of a magnet with the pussy. <laughs> So if you see that around in the background of some of my shots, you know where it's come from and why it's there. Mm, what a gorgeous man he is. So today, it wasn't Ryan that sent me the Oris Aquas, it was Shari and she's picked a cracker, I'll be honest. And usually I soak up a watch for three or four days just to try and experience it before I maybe do a review. But literally after 20 or four hours, I knew what I wanted to say and I knew the great quality that the Aquas has. So I'm Andrew. Uh, no, let's try to think of a different one today. He's Ryan and he's a pussy magnet. <laughs> I'm going to keep that forever. Thank you, Shara. So today we are talking about the Oris Aquis. It's the 41.5mm and it's called the Cherry Edition. Oh la la absolutely stunning piece now first of all I, i'd usually tell you the stats and you, you rattle through them it's this thick it's that wide it's this and that but the stats on this one are actually quite interesting so it's a 41 mil case and because of the design of the bracelet straight off the bat you think that's not 41 it's too small to be a 41 so it wears a lot smaller than the 41 su would suggest and even more so because the bezel overlaps the actual case and then when you look at the case it actually diagonals back in on itself so it's 41 mil wide at the bottom but then it tapers in so again it is a lot smaller than the 41.5 would suggest i'd say that's a good thing i think it's a really really nice size watch it's 13 mil thick but again because of the domed crystal the thickness is not quite as as thick as you would imagine and to talk about the lugs uh, the width it's a bizarre one because it's integrated bracelet and the lugs just sort of start straight away from the middle of the watch. They don't sort of taper in. There's almost like a bit missing where other watches have their lugs. So that again brings the size down dramatically. And it starts at 22 mil, but because it's integrated, it, it feels and looks so much smaller. Now that's a good thing. I don't think it's a bad thing. The lug to lug is only 47.5. Again, so super, super small fitting watch now don't let that put you off it's still got real presence and amazing quality and oh la la that taper all the way from 22 down to 15 and then probably up to about 16 for the clasp just makes this watch an absolutely stunning stunning watch and i'm not joking when you say and when i say i touch the bracelet you feel the drape <sighs> give me a minute that no word of a lie that feels like Rolex quality. I can't try to go a video without mentioning Rolex, but genuinely, this is a watch for £1,600 and the bracelet is just undeniably sexy and you just know it's going to fit around any wrist and it's going to be super comfy for whoever wears this. I could probably put this on my six-year-old door and she would get a good size in fit because it's just just ridiculously draped it's amazing and yeah that's right 1600 pounds for this cherry edition dial what a chuffing bargain now if you don't like the 38 hour power reserve that you get in this watch yeah that's one of its downsides it is the 38 hour but now you might not get the cherry red but they've got the the, the new is it 10 day power reserve ones in in the same sort of case as well so undeniable that you might have to pay a little bit extra for the in-house movement but if you if you're happy with a 38 hour power reserve oh my god i can't recommend these watches enough 1600 pound that is bonkers now oris aquis that is probably the first automatic watch that i'd ever bought for myself well actually i think the wife bought it for me to be fair but there was a time <laughs> when i bought a watch off ebay and i was that 
dickhead that kept saying, well, it works for a bit and then it stops and I don't understand why. I just didn't understand the concept of automatic watches. Now, granted, that were about a decade ago and it, it only cost about 30 quid off eBay. But yeah, it, <laughs> a slow curve to educate myself, that's for sure. But for £1,600, there is no denying that this could be in a one watch collection. It, and historically, that would put me off. I've always liked a ceramic bezel over a stainless steel one, but I think it matches it really well with the cherry dial. So not as much as a, a negative as I thought it was going to be on this watch. It's got, as I say, the sunray dial. It almost looks black in a lot of lights. And you think, oh, I can't buy a red watch. It's, it's too much. It's too out there. And I fully understand that. But actually, when you get it in reality and look at this watch, it's not that bright. It doesn't stand out sickeningly it's just a nice hint of red in most lights fantastic looking watch really cl clean crisp markers really legible really good looking the polished links on the outside instead of the center i think they're really going to help with marks and scratches but they're still going to give that bit of light reflection which makes it look a fantastic watch it's got the case back the open case back with a red rotor of oris which again i think that's a really really Always nice, always good looking, and Oris Aquis have just literally nailed this watch fantastically. I don't think they could have done any better for the money. Out of this world, the bezel action, just listen to this. Oh, oh la la. That is literally to die for. Got to get it back to 12, got to get it back to 12. Absolutely brilliant bezel action. The dial is clean, it's crisp, but the big, big, Big thing for me is that unbelievable drape of the bracelet. It just oozes class, oozes quality, oozes comfort. And I, as I say, I've had an Oris Aquas in the past. It's, it's always one of them that's on the list to get one eventually. But this has just speeded up that process massively. This size, I think, is going to be perfect for me because the comfort's going to be there. It's in the market for around, around the size and around the quality of the, the Black Bay 58s. But you get a hell of a lot more for your money for the price at 1600 quid. If you want the in-house, then you're probably looking at head-to-head -head with the BB58. And then it's just preferential taste, what you like most. But you cannot go wrong with an Oris. Independently owned. Fantastic looking. And the size, I thought it might be a bit small. But after a couple of days with it, looking at it, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Now, the, the too good, too bad. The bad ones, I would say, as always, I always say, it's a 38-hour power reserve. I think when you've got a date feature on a watch with a 38-hour power reserve and you've got a few in the collection, it just sort of annoys you after a while, doesn't it? Because you leave it for a couple of days, you forget about it, I'll go, and you're like, fuck, oh, and you've got to wind it up, and I can't just leave it, wind it up, set the time, I've got to set the date, I've got to set it accurately, I don't like it being out from the start. So, yeah, really small, miffy, peevy thing, but for 1,600 quid, and that magical Francis and Kay discount, if you use Andrew as an internet sensation, worth a go every time, guys, I promise you. This is a clear, clear winner, definitely. And the two good, without a shadow of a doubt. And I highly recommend that you just go stroke that bracelet. Oh, honestly, guys, unbelievable. No micro, it's got a little bit of micro adjustment in the class, but it's got three dots where you can move it in and out. Obviously, you've got to use a pin. But with that bracelet, you're going to get a comfortable fit and it's not too big, then it's going to dangle down and look gaudy. So overall, 9 out of 10, I reckon, for this Oris, Oris Aquis. I'm 120% going to get one back in the collection after feeling this hands-on. I'm blown away by the quality. I had the 43.5mm original Oris Aquis back four or five years ago. Loved it. Ended up upgrading to an Amiga. But that was a lot thicker and a bit chunkier. This... Oh, that sweet spot absolutely nailed it so guys i hope you've enjoyed this video let me know what you think of oris aquis i think they're a really popular watch within the watch community aren't they uh, as for me i'm off to cuddle up to my sexy beast right guys i'm andrew i'm a watch addict i'll see you in the next one